Did you know that the Australian government's Pacific Engagement Visa program will commence on 3rd June 2024, and the ballot involves an electronic random selection process? Through a ballot procedure, up to 3,000 visas, including those for dependent children and partners, will be made available each year. The PEV is a permanent resident visa program that permits permanent residents in Australia and is intended to strengthen people-to-people, -people, cultural, commercial, and educational ties between Australia and the Pacific. To guarantee that the program satisfies common needs and goals, the Australian government has consulted with Pacific partners on a number of occasions. We will go over every crucial aspect of the Pacific Engagement Visa program within this video as well as the eligibility criteria and participating countries. Pacific Engagement Visa Ballot Potential candidates may use the Department of Home Affairs IMI account to register for the ballot online. Those chosen from the poll using a computerized random selection procedure can thereafter apply for a Pacific Engagement Visa. Before being given a visa, applicants must however prove that they fulfill all necessary requirements. By choosing poll participants at random, the ballot seeks to give eligible persons from eligible countries equitable and transparent access to the program. Additionally, current Australian workers under the Pacific Australia Labour Mobility Plan will be able to cast ballots, and there is a $25 fee to do so. For participants to be eligible for another ballot, a new registration must be made in the event that the registered individual is not chosen. Australia PEV Eligibility Criteria To be eligible for the PEV subclass 192, you must 1. Be randomly selected through the PEV ballot 2. Fall within the age range of 18 to 45 years 3. Hold a valid visa if applying from inside Australia 4. Secure a formal job offer in Australia 5. Meet other visa requirements, including English language proficiency, character, and health checks. The Australian government will assist in putting successful ballot entrants in touch with employers. Before the PEV starts, the Department of Home Affairs will provide more details on the qualifying conditions and the visa application procedure. Settlement Support for PEV Holders Holding a PEV entitles you to a number of advantages that will facilitate your adjustment to Australia, including Medicare, the country's universal health care program, public education, and university places funded by the Commonwealth. There will also be access to financial assistance programs, such as youth allowance, child care subsidy, higher education loan program access, and family tax benefit A and B. Additionally, you will be qualified for complimentary access to the Settlement Engagement and Transition Support Program and the Adult Migrant English Program. Participating Countries and Visa Allocation To guarantee equal access for all eligible applicants, a set number of visas has been allotted to each participating country. Countries having little prospects for permanent migration to Australia and those lacking citizenship rights in New Zealand, France and the US are given priority. Papua New Guinea has received the most visas from Australia, 1,350, followed by 300 visas for Fiji and Timor-Leste. Tonga Vanuatu and Solomon Islands have been given 150 visa allocations, Tuvalu and Nauru 100, while Palau and the Federated States of Micronesia gets 50 visa allocations. Numerous considerations, such as population size, Australia's diaspora, available migration options, anticipated demand, and participating countries' perspectives were taken into consideration while allocating visas. The PEV offers inhabitants of Pacific Island nations and Timor-Leste permanent residency, which is a supplement to the temporary PALM program. In order to meet labor shortages and promote economic growth, Palm concentrates on temporary migration, whereas PEV seeks to create a long-lasting diaspora in Australia with close relationships to their home countries. Workers under Palm who hold valid temporary visas are eligible to vote in the PV election and may eventually become permanent residents. That will be all in this video. 
please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching. Good luck.